Hello and welcome to Anatomy of Sex. I'm your host, Melanie Studley. What's up, my friends? My name is Seth Studley. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. Welcome to Anatomy of Sex. Today's episode is titled, Five Myths About Foreplay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. (laughs) Boom, baby. What's up, guys? Hey. (laughs) Welcome to Anatomy of Sex. This episode is usually reserved for our patron-only community. If you haven't checked that out, go to patreon.com forward slash anatomy of marriage to subscribe to the all every week, let's do this sex show. All every week? Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, But yeah, Patreon is rad. We love you guys. Mm -hmm. If you want to join Patreon, do it. All right. So today we're talking about foreplay. Why foreplay matters? Does foreplay matters? No, we we'll be miss we'll be <laughs> missing butts, <laughs> busting myths about foreplay. And uh, Seth is turning the tables on me. Yeah, he is surprising me with the myths that he intends to bust. Right. I listened to uh, the Love Hour podcast today. Love Ke- Hour, Love Hour, <laughs> Kevin, Melissa, and they are just keeping it the real best. always. So. You guys check out that 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 show. They just keep it real. It's a good show. You'll get some uh, good advice from it. I just wanted to plug that for no reason at all, okay, other than like I like it. So okay, let's get into this. <laughs> let's do this, baby. Number one, myth number one: foreplay is not required. Sex should be effortless. Of course it should. We get married. It's all cool. You like me. I like you. We just have sex. Like rolling off a log. You're wet. I got a boner. Oh, Who cares? Gosh. <laughs> is that how it happens? Absolutely not. No? So let's okay. talk about that myth. This is a foreplay myth that mm-hmm. people believe that is actually very unhelpful to their sex lives. Right. So say it again for me. Foreplay is not required. Sex should be effortless. Right. I think that that probably... Is exactly how you think. I, it is, because I just said. <laughs> no, I think a lot of people think that, men and women, right? right? We had a great conversation recently about purity culture, about there's a lot of guilt and shame, like mm-hmm. uh, if a woman isn't ready to go or doesn't right. want it, like, oh, my husband wants it more than I do. What's wrong with me kind of mm-hmm. thing? And there's a lot of internalizing negative uh, self-talk that goes along with that. And then also... And that was with Camden Morganti. <clears throat> right. And then also with the guys, it's can be, oh, yeah. Sex just should be ready to go. What's wrong with her if she doesn't want right. it as much as I do, kind mm-hmm. of thing? But guys, Dr. Corey Allen on Sexy Marriage Radio talks about women are crockpots, men are microwaves, mm-hmm. right? Like guys, we can go basically anytime. Maybe women can too, but it's not going to be as pleasurable and memorable or connecting mm-hmm. as it as it could be, right? So that's one reason foreplay is important. It's not effortless. Because it does take some effort, effortless. right? Effortless. <laughs> right. It's not effortless. And you got to re-educate yourself and drop all the stuff that you learn from pop culture and stuff. Because a lot of that stuff isn't helpful. Right. I think of, um, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Like effortless food is junk food, by the way. Uh, an effortless degree is a fake degree. Anything so we had that some is... effortless junk food yesterday when I took kids. <laughs> you had the BTS begged, meal. <laughs> they begged me to get the BTS meal, which literally was only chicken nuggets, fries, and sauce with Korean letters on it. <laughs> and that's all it was. But it worked, didn't it? But it worked. But anyway, so it. yes, you foreplay is if you want to have a a really lovely sexual experience, foreplay ought be part of it. That's right. If you know what I mean. If you ready know what I'm saying. Ready for myth me. number two? Yeah. What's myth number two? Lay it on me. Myth number two. Oh, okay. <laughs> foreplay must start in bed right before sex. So if sex is gonna happen, then the lights go out, covers go on, reach over. That's when it starts, right? <laughs> the wandering hand. The wandering hand. I don't That's know. That's the worst. Hands going That's over the here. worst. And mm-hmm. thank you for bringing that myth to our attention because mm-hmm. it is the worst myth of all myths regarding foreplay, I think. Because in my opinion, well, let's. what's the bust of the myth? What is the opposite of said myth? The, uh, you don't even know. No, I do know. There, That doesn't work, fellas. <laughs> it's funny because I'm just thinking like, if you... It, if ever there were a time, which there have been times, right? You know, we lay down. Maybe I'm not thinking about sex. <laughs> I feel a hand slipping over my way. I'm like, bring it. <laughs> okay. So that is that. That's that's fine for me, right? Right. That's fine for me, Mel. Take note. Yeah. Uh, Got anyway, it. Anyway, uh, that doesn't work, right? right? That doesn't work. Again, going back to the crock pot microwave thing. A crock pot doesn't take two seconds to warm up. Then you have a you know delicious roast beef. <laughs> No, it takes about three, pot. four, five, six hours, right? <laughs> right? So men don't think that, okay, she'll just get in the mood if I just uh, slip on over here and, you right. know, 
play with her hair for a minute and then boom, go right in for the, the boobs or something else. Right. It just doesn't work, guys. So again, what's the opposite of that? Tell us what's the antidote. What's the answer? The antidote. The yes. anti-venom. Venom. Venom. Anti-venom. Oh my God. <laughs> Should we start over? Ooh. That was No, we're not going to start over. Lot. We're keeping it real like the old days. Uh, so here's what I think. Oh, hold on. You asked me one. a question. You're not answering it. I am. I'm, okay, get I'm to not, the... I'm not done. I'm done saying words incorrectly, right? Uh, it starts in the morning, guys. Foreplay can start in the morning when you're making her coffee for her, right? When I clean out the espresso machine That's for right. you. Little things, put some dishes away, empty the dishwasher, sweep up the thing, uh, wake wake up the kids on time, right? Make them breakfast. Okay. So really, <laughs> a lot of it is making your life easier. Right. And you like acts of service, so that's very specific yeah, for yeah. you. Um, but let me tell you what. Mm -hmm. uh, there are certain things like <laughs> if you had a tree to cut down, <laughs> that's basically foreplay. Uh, so that's interesting because I've cut down many a tree and it hasn't ended in sex. Because so. you didn't know it was a superpower you have. But oh, okay. also what I was going to say, though, is that there are ways where clearing you out could... The, clearing out the land. I know, right. See you later, cedar there trees. There are ways that you could... So y essentially, I think you don't know even what your superpower foreplay, super foreplay power is. Right. So you don't even know. You're like... I don't know what's going to make her in the mood. I don't know, dishes. I'll cut mm -hmm. a tree down, right? Mm -hmm. And if if you knew, which I have told you in the past, mm -hmm. what they are, mm -hmm. I think that you would be more inclined to do them with fervor, ah. as it were. So it's, walk walk a guy through this. Okay. Husbands might, you know, okay, so you're saying red flannel shirt. You oh, yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Empty the dishwasher. Do oh, yeah. do chores. Say it again. Around the, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, do chores. Uh, cut down a tree. Help right? and help hold and a baby. Oh yeah. Right. So then kiss I a do puppy. that. Okay, kiss a puppy. I do those things, and then I can make moves later. Or all you what? gotta do is, is pretend you're Sawyer, like in Lost. Oh, so you do those things. You you kiss a pup. Our dog just had puppies like ten days ago. Right. And they're the best things on the planet. I highly recommend your dog having puppies if you've got one. So if Seth held a puppy, kissed it, and then looked at me, it's on. What? If you did the dishes. Looked at me like smolder look. Yeah. I get it. Okay, I'm going to do everything of that tonight. So you, but it's got to be just like that. You got to go, I'm doing this thing. I know you like this when I do this. I, I should look say at me, this? Do th no, don't say it. Oh, don't say it. Okay. You could go, hey, Mel. And then you just stare while you do the dishes. Let's test it out. We'll let you know how it goes. If you're serious about that, then I will do it. Yeah, I know. So I'm. let's be serious about this. Okay. I'm serious. Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember when we were dating? And I don't care if this is off topic or not, because I just feel like having a podcast like that. Right. When we were dating, we said, hey, when we look at each other like this, like yes, like that, that meant like, let's go have sex. Do you remember that? I don't. I don't. I do remember that. I don't. And look, there's elk running in our backyard. Yeah, Should we try to film it? No, don't film it. And so that cool. happened a couple times, which was fun. So, okay, guys, uh, sex does not happen. Just like, okay, boom, lights out, covers are on. You're going for it. That's no. when, yeah, that's mm -mm. bad sex. That's obligatory right. sex that your wife doesn't want uh -huh. that you complain about so like a toddler. Something. So women, well, man, tell your man what Melanie just told me. Right. Hold a puppy. Hold a puppy. Oh, puppy. Hold, like a, hold a puppy. Cut down a tree. <laughs> wear flannel. Whatever it is. Empty the dishwashers. Hold a baby. Mop the floors. Stuff like that. If those things are important and they actually turn you on, then do those things. If you did that like sexy style, here's the thing. When I ask you to do a chore... I can wear my new underwear that you gave me. Oh, we should totally talk about oh, those, wait a minute, by the look. way. Oh, you got the tag I right have the there. tag, look. What is it called? It's the... I don't know. They're called... <laughs> it's got an eagle on the thing. Uh, they're shinesty underwear. They've shinesty. got a ball hanger. Y'all, your nuts okay, have it that's cradled. Okay, TM that's TMI. No. Actually, these things are the most comfortable. Typically... I don't own underwear. That's some more TMI. <laughs> but she got me these. I'm like, Whoa. I got them American flag ones. These are an nice. Eagle on yeah, I know it's yeah. hilarious. So, but anyway, anyway, so what I'm saying is that in the past, I would ask you to do, or I like, I would get mad and I'd be like, can't you just scrub the tub out like once in your entire life, right? Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, okay, I'll scrub mm -hmm. the tub out. I'm leaving for work. I'm gonna go when I'm done scrubbing, and I'll go. I'm sorry, right? Yeah. But what if I was like, can't you just scrub the tub out? And you're like. Yeah, babe, I got you. You put on the rubber gloves. I'd be like, what and if I came up and I was kind of silly, but like, kind of like, hell yeah. Like, hell yeah, I'm going to clean this 
damn tub. Yes. Put those gloves on. Watch this. I know where the Clorox is. I know where the Comet <laughs> scrappy scra- spray is. Don't put that in there. It gets it's stuck in the tub. Whatever it, it is. And I'm going to clean enough. that thing. Yeah. Yes. Take me now. <laughs> but yes, right? okay. so tell your spouse mm-hmm. what foreplay that you, the kids just ran by, what the foreplay you would like would be. Mm-hmm. For me, it's mostly acts of service, but no joke. That stuff is my uh, rocket fuel, man. Okay, that's good to What's know. What's the next myth? All right, that you number have three. There's a couple here that I, I put down, um, and there might be more than five, but I'm going to jump all over. So, number three <laughs> oral sex and foreplay are not the same thing. Hmm. Mm hmm. I would say, yeah, duh to that. Yeah, I, I know that, right? Because if we're if we're to the point where there's some oral going on, you know, you know the the, <laughs> it, the it's going to be a closed deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Does that make sense? I, it does make sense. So that one, okay. That, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to count. I'm not going to count that one in the top five. No, like, but uh, I think it's good to know because people think that that's what foreplay is. People have this really stupid, misconceived idea because nobody talks about it plainly like this. Mm-hmm. That foreplay is a sexual act. It's not. It's a relational act mm. that hints towards sexuality or or like intimacy. And it's an I emotional say. act and. Which in turn is a biological act, right? right? Biopsychosocial, there's some, spiritual, there's sexual some stuff going as on, Tina right? says. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I agree that like if you're to the point where there's lips touching labia, like labia to the lips to the labia, <laughs> to the window to the walls <laughs> to the walls, <laughs> then it's a you've already passed the threshold. That is not mm-hmm. foreplay. Right. Foreplay is like saying something sweet and winking, or texting something flirty, mm-hmm. or a love note. Mm-hmm. It's not put your Epiglottis. <laughs> May You're, I touch your uvula with my wiener? It's not that. You did not. <laughs> your uvula oh, is the gosh. thing that hangs in the back of your throat. <laughs> I think people know that. Not everybody. Anyway. I used to teach voice lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's great. Okay. Uh, okay. Foreplay should only occur for X amount of time. Oh, you're, that's a myth? You did just went that's on a, to a myth. That's a myth, myth right. Okay. Well, next myth. Foreplay should only occur in X amount of time, mm-hmm. right? Like 10 minutes of touching, 10 minutes Oops. of scrubbing, and then you're like, okay, let's let's, let's go. Let's get on. Oh, hmm. Right. This is good because this one is real. Okay. It hits home. Sometimes I'm like, you know, we're messing around or whatever. I'm like, okay, is she ready? You know, and you might not have the juice going yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do. So I can't start, basically. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our kids are all outside with the oh, nanny. Oh, boy. Okay. We got a nanny. We got a nanny. really funny. That's yeah, awesome. Uh, more show, more sex shows. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, but what is reasonable here? Right. Because, okay, I'll tell you this, and this goes into the biological piece, uh, and you may not know this, but there is almost a point of time where guys just don't have infinite boners. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Unless you're like, you know, 19. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, boner happens instantly, you know, two hours later. Ain't nobody doing foreplay two hours in this I know, house. Not, Knock not, it off. Not two hours this later. Is what but I, did you right. know that? I mean, I assumed that. I right. didn't I didn't think about it really, but I could have thought that. The helium in the balloon <laughs> only lasts for so Sizzles long. out. <laughs> so I think in that, it, it directly related to that idea is mm-hmm. this for me like I would think of it like this foreplay is not like you light a fuse on a, on a firework. It's mm-hmm. not directly like flame. Psst, right. Right. It doesn't need to be like that. It's almost like little tiny campfires that are taking you to the main bonfire. Mm. It's like the will of the wisps in brave. <laughs> oh. <Go> this <laughs> way. Lead you to the witch or right. whatever. Okay. Um, it's not like, you see what I'm saying? What's I another do. good analogy? But it's not like mm. you're 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 lighting the whole thing, right. and then the the end result of that right. one moment is orgasm. Okay, so let me tell you something here. If if a woman or a guy is focused on, okay, well it's been ten minutes. Is she ready to go yet, or is he ready to go? Guess what? You're not focusing on. You're connection not focusing and pleasure. exactly on connection or pleasure or fun. You're looking like. <laughs> like that Margaret Cho bit. Stick it in. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Cho. That was an old bit of hers, which is really funny. <laughs> then you're only focusing on that, which <laughs> is okay. Either let's let's hurry up and get it done. Okay, I wish he would go already, kind of thing. You're not in in the moment, like enjoying, kind of like the the 
the buffet type of, right. of thing, you know, right, right, the, right. the banquet kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's actually, it's a lot like, um, so think of foreplay. If you've ever traveled internationally to somewhere like Spain or even like Jamaica, I have dinners last a thousand hours and they don't bring you the check, right? There is no assumption that you've got 45 minutes mm-hmm. to, to sit down, scarf your food and leave right. like in at Red Robin in Covington, Washington, right. right? So it's a totally different vibe where it's like little tiny bursts of fun and joy right via meals maybe it's escargot in paris and then the next thing is a little espresso and then the next thing is a little tiny teensy whatever like it's that it's like little um like i said the little will and the wisps things right Um, and i think that's important because people um it's it's like uh they Mm -hmm. think it should be right after and that's not helpful right what's the next myth Okay, man. This might surprise Uh-oh. you and these okay. other and these other ladies out here. All right, ladies. Men, hold on. No, go ahead. What? Just go on. Men don't need or want foreplay. That's mm. a myth. Did you know that? That's a myth, though. That's right. a myth. Men, oh, oh, men don't. They don't care about that. They can just go whenever, right? Oh, they don't want it. They don't need it, right? It doesn't make a difference if there's a long foreplay sesh. Or if there's just like... I'm deeply uncomfortable. Let's go. Why? This is not something I've even ever thought about. <laughs> let's get real then. Shame on me. You, you think that I can go when it... Well, I can, but <laughs> is there a difference between like, okay, boom, ready to go. Oh, five minutes later, over. Yeah, that's right? not great. What are you talking about? Is there a difference? What? Uh, well, let me let me ask you then. What's your idea of foreplay? I have no idea. I literally feel stupid. I've never thought about Good. this. Good. You should. Okay. <laughs> All women. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, let me let me say it again. Men don't need or want foreplay. That is a huge myth. Mm. Just as much as you guys like to get turned on, right? Visually, emotionally, physically, anything like that. Mm-hmm. It is the exact same for a guy. Do you think for one second that? If, you know, I was out doing whatever, you text me, you know, a flirty picture or something like this or say, hey, I'm wearing this tonight or I'm not wearing anything or whatever. Right. And a time elapsed of like, you know, two, three, four, five hours. Do you not think for one second that if you're like, you know, kind of feeding me these little things that that would be like some of the best sex ever? I don't know. I hadn't thought about it for even one second. Okay. So I me, was not me, thinking that. Let me tell you this one thing then. Tell it to me. When we went to the sex retreat, intimacy retreat. No, it, was, it was an intimacy <laughs> retreat where it was a group therapy. We talked about everything sexual and learned a bunch of stuff. So it was not just some, you know, polyamorous. It was with you know, Dr. Orgy. Tina Shermer Sellers. It was rad. It was awesome. The one of the nights where it was all focused on me, right? Primo. <laughs> Why? Because it was slow. It was drawn out. It was primo. Apparently, it was. Mega primo pr- taglia. It was Mary, 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 mega primo, right? Because it wasn't just about <laughs> me thinking, oh man, I just we're gonna have sex tonight. Okay, well, you know, like half ass foreplay here and kind of, you know, right, you know, go and then it's done, right, kind of thing. It was, it's, it's, how about this? It's like traveling, got right? it. If you said, Okay, say we have a vacation fund and there's oh, a, it's a like ton all the, of money. The pre prep. It's the pre prep. A ton of money in the thing. It's like, okay, we're gonna we we're gonna we, go to Malaga. We saved up twenty k for three weeks in Europe. We're gonna go here and do this and all that stuff for South America. We've never whatever. done that. It sounds like we've done it, but I like your thinking. Uh, we did do that. Twenty. We didn't save no twenty k. Anyway, well, not we the point. didn't save it. We spent <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, but 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 listen. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to look up tickets. Yeah. I'm going to look up everything from what kind of plane we're going to fly on. Restaurants. To where the stopovers are. Mm-hmm. To what country. Oh, is there a six-hour stopover? Let's go out. Let's right. ride, the, let's ride the tube into London and then come back and catch our flight out of you know Heathrow. And then go to whoever knows what, right? Or we're going to go to this restaurant and do this. All that stuff happens when I haven't even set foot in the right. country. You understand what I'm saying? I'll be riding the tube. <laughs> so, do you understand but what I'm yeah, saying? So tell me what actual foreplay things I could do. Is it like you said, like texting things, enlighten the ladies? Any, anything sexy. So I guess maybe it's now the, the guy's turn to say, hey, okay, what, what turns you on, right? Mm-hmm. Um, anything, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Uh, talking about it, like, okay, if you came up to me and said, if you just like hugged me or something, it's like, I really want to be with you tonight. And said that, you know, I would say, 
I really want to be with you. No, if you said it in just a sexy way, I'd be like, hello. Right? Stuff like that. Right. That is a real turn on. Or if you... And you're saying empower uh, husbands, tell your wives the type of foreplay you want to see. The type of foreplay you want to see. I like it. Sometimes, this is hilarious. I love it when you do this. (laughs) If I'm like out here cutting the grass and we have a a backyard, so there's no neighbors (laughs) or whatever. You can't see the neighbors. And, you know, you see me, you're like, and you, you know, shoot me a little flash or whatever. I'm like, hello. It's sometimes my Thanks. favorite thing to do because it's so it's, unexpected. And, and it, we have like kids running on well, the yeah, other the side of the grass. It, so it's right? like hilarious. It's, it's hilarious. And it's awesome. And I mean, you've done that before. And of course, we don't even, you know, have sex or whatever. But right. you just do it for fun. But then there's other times it's like, oh, yeah, okay. Right. Right. So stuff so like that. Flash right? a little skin. Late so tease. men do like and they want and they need foreplay because a a foreplay experience for a man uh makes it a whole different experience right and how about this if i'm having better sex Mm -hmm. what are you doing having better sex having better sex understand what i'm saying all right foreplay is not just about our bodies (laughs) i'm sorry jeez Foreplay is just about our bodies, right? Yeah, that's the myth. So the myth is like, okay, well, she's just got to, like, you know. Like touch a wiener foreplay. Touch a right. wiener foreplay, you know, okay, she's got to get wet. So come on, let's, you know, let's get engorged. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what happens. <laughs> what? Blood. Everybody has blood. Sick. To their. Bacon. <laughs> blood right. to the bacon. Right? Okay. So. We call it that, a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine. We call it get that bacon sizzling. That's what we say. Get that bacon sizzling, right? So. Foreplay is a biological thing or can be a biological thing, right? right? And it's not just about our bodies. It's about our emotions. Right. About, it's okay, the connection to the... The, the connection, mm-hmm. even the spirituality piece, the biopsychosocial, biopsychospiritual... Social spiritual. Social spiritual piece. So it is more right. than just about you getting wet or you know right. somebody getting a boner. So I think that perfectly ties into the fact that for me, foreplay, some of the most foreplay things that you can do for planosity is help me out in the house because that tells mm-hmm. me you care about me. Like when you help me out mm-hmm. in a way that's like uh, bold and loving and caring, pay attention. You're not paying attention. Uh, when you help me in a way that is like, what would the word be? All you think of is radical. That sounds like the dumbest word ever for that sentence. But like mm-hmm. you're enthusiastic about it. You actually care. Ah. It makes me feel really loved and cared for. Mm-hmm. And it's like a tangible thing that you've done for me. Mm-hmm. So that is very, very attractive. That is mm-hmm. foreplay to me. Like, And then if you do it with a sassy wink in there. Right. Sawyer wink. <laughs> I'm all for it. This is not evergreen content because you keep on referring to the time in our lives where we've been watching two hours of Lost every night. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so what's the uh, last one? Okay, so the last one is a woman's ability to orgasm depends entirely on foreplay. Yeah, that's for sure a myth. Really? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. So you can orgasm without even foreplay. Yeah, it's just like a weird, it's like a mystery. It's like but a you, drag. It's like, be... a, it's like the white dragon in How to Train Your Dragon. But you have to be, there has to be some sort of, in therapy world, we call it a antecedent, right? There has to be some sort of precursor to that. You can't just be like, touch here, zing. I don't know what you're trying to say to me, but uh, a woman's orgasm is not consistent for every woman. could be consistent for some, but I know that mm-hmm. for me, my body is different throughout my cycle, and my cycle is every 28 days, mm-hmm. so it's like... You're, it's almost like the target is always moving. It's like a big circle target, but it never stays still. Mm-hmm. What are you laughing about? What are you? What's the what? Go no, ahead. Nothing. Go ahead. You think my vagina is always moving? Yeah, and I'm the dart. Okay, cool. <laughs> Please don't write in and say we're not Christians or we're a terrible podcast because we're saying words like vagina and dart. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, right. but that's the way I look at it. Is mm-hmm. that. It, the orgasm part for a female, for me anyway, mm-hmm. is not as important as the connection and pleasure. Like we can have really awesome sex and mm-hmm. sometimes I just can't orgasm. It's mm-hmm. not very often, but every mm-hmm. once in a while it is. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. No matter. Take it or leave it. it I think we've matter. talked about that before. Right. Uh, if not even with, with clients and because this is a thing of like, oh, she didn't, right. she didn't have an orgasm. I'm like, that's why people fake it, by the way. Kind of that's why mm-hmm. people fake orgasm. women feel bad. Men feel bad. I mean, I cannot have an orgasm, but you might be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know. What can Mm -hmm. I do? So they're Mm -hmm. like, oh, just pretend I had one and then that won't happen. Mm -hmm. Right. So I want Mm -hmm. to get to the place where people cannot have one and not care. Mm -hmm. Right. They they tried their best. 
doesn't matter if it happens or doesn't not. Doesn't matter, right? Because it still was pleasurable. I, I think I think the the guys think about it differently than the the women do. I'm I don't like, care. They need to stop that. <laughs> well, you're not a guy. You're not a uh, woman. <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> Stick that on your uvula. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyway. Uh, I want to ask you a question, and it's pretty personal. Okay. Don't. Don't ask Why me. Why not? This is a free podcast for all oh, of our millions of friends. Yes. Oh, speaking of free one, if you want more of this every <laughs> single week. If you want the one where he does ask me whatever this question was going to be. <laughs> right. Go to patreon.com forward slash anatomy of marriage to subscribe to Anatomy of Sex. $6.90. What does that break down to in your three don't, podcasts? I, it's like $2 a try. podcast, people. Come on. Seriously. You can't even... <laughs> Walk out the door for less than $2. So, uh, yeah, go to patreon.com forward slash anatomy of marriage to get more. You guys, we got a cool and fun announcement coming up. If you saw on Instagram, oh, yeah. June 1st, we got some stuff coming out and it's going to be cool. So, we're super excited about that. Got a lot in the, in the, uh, in the, in the hopper going on. Email any questions you got. Hello at anatomy of marriage.com. And we, I hope you enjoyed this this myth busting episode mm-hmm. of Anatomy of Sex. Right. Uh, I, I think the the one that was most impactful for me is, or it was impactful for me because you didn't know this about mm. how men right. view um, uh, foreplay. foreplay. Yeah, and how how it, it it does make a very more connecting, more pleasurable. Right. powerful experience right. all around. Let's uh, wrap this up and reverse all the things, the myths, and let's say them the right way. Okay. Right? Hey. Uh, so sex takes effort. The first right. myth was that foreplay is not required. Sex should not take effort. Mm-hmm. Wrong. Giant, giant X through that. Sex yeah. does take effort. And it is required. Foreplay is required mm-hmm. for sex to be vibrant and fun and vitalitous. Exactamundo. Okay. <laughs> foreplay uh, does not have to start right before bed. It starts in the morning. Mm-hmm. It's a process, right? It's a whole long process. So think about that. Right. You were supposed to read it and then bust it. So foreplay must start in the bed right before oh. sex. No big X through that. That is okay, incorrecto. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So myth number three, oral sex and foreplay are the same thing. Heck no. No, Heck no all over that. Heck right. no. Heck no. Uh, as my friend used to say, uh, oral sex and foreplay are not the same thing. Mm-hmm. Did you just hit me? No. <laughs> They're not the same thing. Don't mix it up. That's not cool. All right. Uh, the foreplay should only occur for X amount of time. No, it can occur any amount of time because right. if you're thinking about that, oh, what time is it? All this stuff. How many minutes have elapsed? <laughs> you're not thinking about connection and pleasure. Here's the good way to think of it: sex or foreplay is like sprinkles. They're not connected to each other. You don't eat one giant sprinkle. You sprinkle on the sprinkles, and each. That's why they're called sprinkles. Like on a sprinkle. donut, they're not all in a line. They're not called connectos. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow connecto. <laughs> So okay. the next one, men right. don't need or want foreplay. Wrong. We're wrong Very about wrong. this. Very wrong. Ladies, rethink that. If you want your man to have a way better sexual experience, which... Show him your gazungas. <laughs> right. Which legit equals your increased sh- sexual experience. Think about that, right? Just as hard as we want the guys to think about, okay, there's crockpot stuff going right. on, not microwave. I want the ladies to think about it that way. Love okay. It. Foreplay is just about our bodies. Nope. X, wrong. Nope. 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 Right. It's, it's about your bio, psycho, social, and mm-hmm. spiritual connect, piece. Think about that. Connect with the way your spouse thinks and what mm-hmm. they care about and what you care about. That is way, way, way sexy, and you know it. Okay, next one. A woman's ability to orgasm depends entirely on foreplay. Nope. Not all the time. It's a moving target. <laughs> <laughs> moving target. Anyway, right. we love you guys. Thank you so much. Again, if you want to catch the episodes where we do actually say even crazier stuff and talk about even realer realness, mm-hmm. uh, go over to patreon.com forward slash anatomy of marriage. And we love you guys. Have an absolutely amazing day. All right. All right. Bye. bye.